Rory, it's not many people are giving you a chance here tomorrow. What makes you believe that Scotland can pull off a famous win? Yeah, I think obviously it is a it is going to be a tough challenge. I think Ireland are, if not the best team, they're, they're one of them certainly in the world right now. And <clears throat> coming here to get a result is going to be a tough ask. But um, we've got a lot to play for, you know. I think Gilko actually just mentioned it, but was it thirty odd years since the triple crown for a Scottish team? Um, and obviously, after a loss like last weekend, um, the first thing you want to do is get back out there and. and Try and put things as right as you can. So um, you know that's what we're looking forward to. What can you throw at the Thailand team that they haven't seen before in recent years? Yeah, it's tough. I think um, you know they seem to be able to deal with a lot that's thrown at them. Um, we just need to focus on sort of what we can do better from the other game, but also what we think might put them under a bit of pressure. But um, you know we've we've had a lot of learnings, as you can imagine, over this last week, um, and it's just about putting it out there. They have at times seemed unbeatable Ireland, but England showed last week yeah. can be beat. What have you guys learned from, from what England did at Twickenham that you can maybe replicate? I think with England, like they were just very good at sort of in defence, getting in the face and putting pressure on them through that. that um, and they obviously, you know, took their opportunities. They had that one in, in the last minute um, and, they, and they took it really well. So, um, you know, us being clinical when we do get our opportunities because Ireland are a team that don't give you many. Um, and then when they've got the ball, they like to hold on to it for as long as they can and, and try and eke an error out of you. So just staying engaged and staying in the moment. A lot of people are talking about Ireland. It's going to be an angry Ireland after what happened last weekend. But does that go for Scotland to give them what went on in the Yeah, I think you know it was tough early in the week, sort of reviewing, reviewing Saturday and going through that process, but. Um, as I said earlier, that's the beauty of, of sport. You get another opportunity come Saturday to sort of try and show more of what you're about. Um, you know, we're obviously disappointed with last Saturday, so um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. You look at it, it's, it's nine wins in a row for Ireland and for Scotland, Rory, and a lot of them haven't been all that close. Greg, you guys were talking about during the league, but having to be stronger mentally. It's, it's obviously it's a physical game of rugby tomorrow. But how much of it is going to be meant with you guys staying the fight? As you said there, staying in it. I think staying in the moment is how I put more like every moment is going to be huge against Ireland. Um, you know, as I said, they, they're one of the best teams in the world, if not the best team in the world. So if you sort of aren't in a moment or you, you switch off or whatever it is, um, they're likely to make you pay for it. I think that's an area that... We have had a lot of growth, and there's still an area of growth for for us. Is that is that staying in the, every moment and the mental space of it? Given that it is nine defeats in a row, where is the evidence that Scotland can beat Ireland? I would say, you know, tomorrow um, all we can do is focus on ourselves, and then hopefully <laughs> prove some for you. I think the. As you said, you know, in, in recent years, it's it's not been the case. But um, you know, we, we, we've got full belief that if we do everything we can, we put the pressure on them. A lot of the criticism, Rory, is quite fierce in the back of Rome. Have you guys tapped into that at all? Used that as a bit of fuel to to prove a few people wrong tomorrow? No, I think the fuel is the result. The fuel is how gutted we were after the game. Um, you know, it was a quiet changing room, um, tough weekend to sort of process what, what went on, but that's the fuel for me. And, and as I said earlier, the triple crown, um, the opportunity to come to Dublin and, and beat one of the best teams in the world, I think that's, that's enough motivation.